former NFL star Burgess Owens heckled during a speech, actually several speeches, but this one I want you to take a look at. Roll tape. I'm overcoming because I also Please let the speaker continue. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see. What kind of rhetoric are you trying to spew, dude? The United okay. States is an imperialist nation. Okay. Well, <laughs> well I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. It's an imperialist nation. That's what we need to read up Face systemic racism every day. Mm. Well, joining us now is Burgess Owens, author of Liberalism. Uh, Burgess, uh, tough watching that, my man. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 you look like you're still in football shape. So, I mean, you, you know, you, you were physically rather look like you could weather the storm, but that was pretty tough. What were they saying? They were calling saying America was imperialistic and things like that. Charles, how you doing? First of all, good morning. Um, it, I hope everybody gets a chance uh, to take a look at that because it was a very a respectful conversation until a few of them decided to get up and, and do their thing. Um, if I can just say this, and I've, I've said this as we've talked uh, before, uh, we're, at, we're fighting for the heart and soul of our country today. We have a Judeo-Christian values that allows us to be tolerant, to, uh, to be open to ideas, and we have the Marxists and socialists and those you see in this video that do not want to do that. Uh, I'll say this, uh, what be it Black Lives Matter, KKK, uh, I mean, Black Lives Matter, um, um, uh, the, the, the deep state, uh, the college uh, professors all have in common with the KKK is that at the end of the day, you take away the white privilege, you take away the white, the, the white hoods and the black, uh, uh, black mask, and you have nothing but bullies and cowards. So we have to get back to understanding we need to fight for the heart and soul of our country again by getting free speech and allowing us to, to be able to have these kids to, to learn stuff when they get to these college Well, your uh, assessment forms. then as someone who is visiting these college campuses and speaking with these young people, uh, are, 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 is the other side winning? In other words, uh, you know, the, the things that you say are the antithesis of America, it feels like they, it has the momentum, though, in this country. Well, I, I'll say this. We learned a great lesson the last couple of years. I'm so proud of Americans. We, with the NFL, showed uh, an industry that we care more about our country than care about teams. What we have to do as Americans, again, is, is let's sit back and look at our colleges. We should care about our, about our country more than care about our alma mater. If our alma maters are at the point turning to be socialists and Marxists and, uh, and, and having our kids to fail, we need to stop supporting them. We need to let our dollars go back to work again and have these. Because uh, what, what and, they do, they love to get themselves ingrained in these colleges sure. and, and protect themselves. I mean, I think it's happening long before colleges. But to that point, what does the system have to do? The, the, the folks who champion, uh, you know, uh, the republic and, and, and democratic ideas, what do they have to do to, to win the argument? Uh, because it feels like you're losing the argument. Why are you not winning the argument? Well, we have to, first of all, be, uh, have the courage enough to get in and have these conversations. There are, good, there are kids in these, these communities that would love to hear the message of these of conservatives, particularly black conservatives, if they have the opportunity to do so. So at the end of the day, we have the right message. We have the, the right facts. Uh, they, we have to get past the fact that these folks, some of them think that all they have to do is shout us down and it'll stop us. We do get past that, we'll be in, in good shape again. All right, Burgess, uh, i got to tell you, I, I tip my hat to you, but I think it's a noble thing you're doing, and you handled yourself very well. Thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you, Charles.